Cats and carriers, friends, not foes. You know, cat carriers don't have to mean enemy territory. Carriers provide safety for both you and your cat during transport and can provide your cat a sense of security by being hidden in a secure, closed container. Your cat needs a lifetime of preventive veterinary care, and this is best accomplished by regularly scheduled, low-stress trips to a veterinarian's office. And these days, more and more, people are choosing to travel with their favorite family members, which are often of the feline variety. Here are five simple and important steps to make travel with your cat safe, rewarding, and fun. By the end of this video, you will be able to 1. Choose the best type of carrier. 2. Choose the best location for training your cat to its carrier. 3. Make the carrier cat-friendly. 4. Help your cat learn that riding in the car in its carrier is okay. And 5. Help your cat who's already fearful by introducing them to a cat-friendly carrier. Step 1. Choosing the best kind of carrier. The carrier should be sturdy, secure, and stable for the cat, easy to carry, and quiet so that opening the carrier does not startle your kitty. Some cats like to see out, whereas other cats are more comfortable when covered. While some prefer soft-sided carriers, if you are just starting out or trying a new approach, get a hard carrier that has both an opening at the top and front and comes apart easily. For all carriers, easy access to the cat has been recommended by many veterinarians and cat and behavior specialists. The design should permit easy removal of your cat if it will not come out on its own, and easy removal of the top portion of the carrier will allow your kitty to stay in the bottom part if it chooses. A removable top is especially helpful for fearful cats, as well as sick, painful, or limited mobility cats. The best size for a carrier is whatever balances the comfort of the cat with ease of lifting and carrying for the owner. Step 2. Choose the best location for training your cat to its carrier. Our goal is to make the carrier a place that your cat likes to visit and spend time inside when it's in your house. That way, when you go to transport them in the carrier, it will be a familiar and safe location. Just like us in our bedrooms, cats like their resting places to be quiet and secure, so they can come and go as they please and not be bothered while they are napping. The best location for your carrier is one that's convenient for both you and your cat, out of the way of main traffic areas and safe from intrusion by other pets and people. Because cats are very three-dimensional in nature and like elevated resting areas, the best place isn't always on the floor. A walk around your home to see it from the cat's point of view may suggest a number of possibilities. A good place to start is with your cat's currently preferred resting places. Be sure that carriers placed on elevated surfaces are stable and not at risk of tipping or falling. Step 3. Make the carrier cat friendly. A number of things can be done to make the carrier more attractive to your cat. Make it welcoming. When we have the carrier in the house, leave the doors open to encourage your cat to spend time inside this nice spot. If your cat is wary of going inside the open carrier, at first you can even leave the carrier top off completely. By using a towel or item with a favorite person's scent, for example a fleece jacket or furniture throw inside the carrier, your cat will learn to associate that familiar and positive scent with the carrier. This bedding should be kept with the carrier and can eventually be used in transporting the cat inside its new home away from home. Some cats respond well to the use of a commercially available synthetic feline facial pheromone, an odorless scent hormone sprayed on the bedding or inside the carrier a minimum of 15 and preferably 30 minutes before introducing your cat to allow the alcohol base to evaporate completely. Also, placing a scratching post nearby that your cat can use to stretch after a snooze may make the carrier even more appealing and will save your furniture at the same time. Make it warm. 
Cats like warmer temperatures than many humans do and often appreciate a snuggly blanket or towel. The idea is to make the carrier a safe and cozy place to go so you can place it near a heat source or even in a sunbeam as long as your cat is able to enter and exit as it pleases. Make it irresistible. After finding the best carrier and location for your cat, we need to let them know about it. The most important keys to cat learning are, first, that they respond much better to praise than to punishment, and second, they will work for food or whatever is rewarding to them. Try placing treats, toys, grasses, or catnip inside the carrier. When your cat enters the carrier, immediately offer praise and reward. Timing is critical. If a cat can't figure out why they are receiving the treats, they lose their reward value. Once your cat is comfortable entering the carrier, offer some of its meals inside, making sure your cat is eating. Be sure any food that you place inside is very desirable to your kitty. Unwillingness to eat a favorite snack can serve as a barometer of your cat's health status and mood and can be a sign that your kitty is unwell, uncomfortable, or fearful. Skipping meals because your cat is worried about eating them inside the carrier is stressful, counterproductive, and can be unhealthy. Another positive reward includes playing with toys in and around the carrier, especially feather or fishing pole style toys that you can flick in and out of the carrier to encourage play. Every once in a while, be sure to let your kitty catch its prey one of the times it goes into the carrier. Once your cat is regularly going into the carrier, spend increasing amounts of time with the door closed, rewarding your kitty with a treat each time you close the door. You can even use the second towel draped over the carrier and allow your kitty to have a cat nap inside. It's important to know that this process may take up to several weeks or longer, depending on the frequency of the reward sessions and your cat's response. Always remain calm and never force your cat. Step 4. Now that your cat is comfortable with its carrier, it's time to go for a ride. But the first step is way before you start the engine. You've successfully gotten your cat used to being in the carrier with the doors closed. So now take that second towel and cover it. Take the cat to the car and safely secure it on the back seat using the seat belt or otherwise safely secured in the back of your car. Provide a treat. Close the car door for one to two minutes, then bring the carrier back indoors, open it, and praise your cat in a soft voice. Increase the times of these preliminary car rides on different days and when your cat seems comfortable. Turn on the engine, at first going nowhere. Be sure to open the garage door if that's where your car is. Repeat the process and increase the time, eventually introducing actual travel and gradually increase the length of trips. Short, happy trips to a cat-friendly veterinarian will also improve your cat's experience with travel and encourage pleasant veterinary visits. Step 5. If your cat currently dislikes its carrier. So you think you have a frady cat. If your cat has had unpleasant experiences in the past, it may be fearful of the carrier and you can apply these concepts to introduce them to a cat-friendly carrier using a synthetic feline facial pheromone from the outset. Go slowly and be patient with training. Providing a new and different carrier may help. It may take a bit longer, but if you remain calm, it is likely your cat will enter the carrier on its own and you can follow the same steps just shown. Additionally, your veterinarian may recommend medications to administer prior to travel to prevent nausea or anxiety. These are preferred to sedatives or tranquilizers such as acepromazine, which have historically been prescribed and do not reduce anxiety. So now you have it. First, choose the right carrier that opens from the top and the side. Second, leave the carrier in a quiet, comfortable area with the door open and soft, warm bedding. Third, feed and play with your cat in and near the carrier. 
Fourth, ease into transporting your cat by gradually increasing the movement and events associated with travel. Finally, for cats who are already fearful or show anxiety when around the cat carrier, follow these same simple steps, understanding it might take a bit longer. Your reward is in knowing you can now travel with your cat. So plan your cat-friendly vacation and make that long-overdue veterinary appointment now.